Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to create our first view. And this view is going to be a block view. So to do that, we I'm going to assume you've already installed views, and uh, if you installed views, you should have also installed the Chaos Tools module. Those two you can get over at Drupal.org, search for views. Um, if you do uh, install views, make sure you install the views UI as well. Um, it will tell you that it requires Chaos Tools. So you want to gonna grab that one, and then for Chaos Tools, the only thing you need to enable is just the base Chaos Tools. So if you see here, I have both those installed. So uh, go install those, pause the video, and if uh, you already have, you can you know keep watching and we'll create our view. So we're gonna go to Structure, and then we're gonna go to Views. Since I use Views all the time, I'm going to add it to my shortcuts. So we'll edit here, here you can see. And you can see I've already created this featured projects one. That's one I showed you in the last tutorial when I was just going over what views are. But we're gonna create our new view. So we're gonna click Add New View. Okay, and it's gonna ask for the name. We're gonna just gonna just call this a test view. You can call it whatever you'd like. You can give it a description that would show up in the admin section. Uh, just maybe for further clarification, test view, uh, delete later. So just so I don't have to, you know, keep this around. And it's going to by default check create a page, but we're not going to want to create a page. We're going to want to create a block. The page views are a little bit more complex, and I think it's easier to start with the blocks. So we're going to unselect create a page and select create a block. Block title will just test view. Um, for right now, we can leave the display format as an unformatted list of titles, and it's going to say five. And do we want to use a pager? No. So we'll click save and exit. Well, yeah, I'm sorry, you should have clicked save and continue. I click save and exit. But at any rate, I'm back here at the view screen. You can just click edit here. Um, so this is the views edit screen. As you can see, there is a lot going on, although um, uh, there's even more under this advanced tab. Um, there's all sorts of stuff here, and even down here, if auto preview is selected, which it is by default, um, you have your view is already outputting content. So let's go over a little bit exactly what this view is doing. Um, as you can see, all of our content is here. It's pretty much everything we've ever created. Um, any piece of content, it's pulling articles, it's pulling projects, it's pulling pretty much uh, you basic pages, anything that we've ever created. Um, and you can see it has a pager, it has a title. Okay, so let's start at the very top. The block name, display name, we'll just call this test. This is just something you can identify it by in the back end of your site. Um, this does not display anywhere. Uh, this, well, it does not display anywhere on the front end of the site. This title is what's going to be shown right here. If you don't want to display a title, which um, it, let's keep the title for now. If you don't want to display it, you can just delete this and it won't show up. No big deal. Format um, lets you choose between all sorts of things, grid, HTML list, table, and we'll get into those more once we mess around with the format in a later tutorial. But for now, just know that uh, format is selected here and the unformatted list has its own settings, which you can access here. So this is saying show fields, which we're going to want to show fields. And if you remember from any of our other tutorials, um, in your content type, your content type is made up of various fields. So what we're saying is uh, fields show the content title. Okay, as you can see, all of our content titles are being shown. So fields is really what you're going to be displaying. Filter criteria is a filter. So the only filter we have set up right now is just that it's published. It says published, yes. Okay, if it's published, it's showing up. Okay, sort criteria. This is the order in which it's coming in. It's coming in from post date and descending. Okay, so our block settings, our block name is set to none, permissions. Um, if you can view published content, you can view this block. Okay, all this stuff we're going to get into more advanced in the next couple of tutorials, but I'm just going to go over the basics here. Um, header, if we wanted to add a header, you can add one or a footer. Um, we are using a pager right now. 
as you can see, if we want to turn this pager off, we can just click uh, display all items or display specific number or specified number of items. We'll click this one. We'll say display five items. So now as you can see, that pager is gone. And even though I updated it here, if we were to exit out of this window, these changes would not take an effect into our site. We have to go up here and click save before we will notice anything. Okay, so well, we have this view, it's just a whole bunch of titles with the title of test view. Um, it's, you know, not super useful, but this is the very basics of views. So let's add this view to our site somewhere. In the next lessons, we're going to go over how to get more into filters to make this more advanced. But for now, let's click out of your views, and as you can see, it doesn't show up anywhere. That's because what's happened is that this view has been created as a block. If we come into blocks and scroll all the way down to our disabled blocks, we should find one named test. So you can see view, test view, test is right here. And let's say, show up in the content. Actually, I'm going to take that back. Let's show up in the sidebar first, right above the navigation. We'll click save. And we'll come back to our site here. And as you can see, right here, test view has shown up. Um, and here's the title, and here's our five pieces of content that we've told it. And if we would have told it to have the pager, it would have had the pager right down here. And actually, if you would have noticed just now, uh, when I was in the block screen and I was moving this around and I click saved it, uh, sometimes when you're initializing a block that's disabled and you're um, putting it somewhere. If you put it at the top of the list and click save, it sort of always drops it to the bottom. So just a heads up if you notice that. Um, if we actually wanted this to be above it, you know, you could come back in here, move it above it and click save, and then this second time out, it'll be on top. Cool. So this right here, this test view is our very first view. You're bringing in five pieces of content and you're displaying it in the way that you have told views to display it. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to use filters to control your view just a little bit more. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Bye.